Okay, so where are we? We've got a, a box full of receipts and um, we know that fin uh, accounting is basically organizing the financial activities uh, of this box. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the receipts out of the box. There's our box. Receipts. And we are going to uh, sort them. And we're going to sort like to like. Here's what I mean. Let's get um, all the receipts and all the transactions that have anything to do with the, the fellow who designs your handbills. And let's put them in their own box. Okay? So this would include uh, the, the invoice that he gave you. And it would also include records of the payments that you've made to him. So that's one pile. Let's get another uh, pile going. Uh, and, and this will be for uh, anything to do with the uh, rental of the sound equipment for a particular gig. So uh, this is for your designer. And this is for the rental of the sound equipment. And let's get another box going. And this is for the, uh, the printer who prints up those handbills. And so we'll put in that box all the uh, invoices he's given us and any record of any payments. And uh, then we might have another box uh, down here that uh, holds the record of all the um, uh, ticket sales for the particular gig uh, in question, so the ticket sales. So that'll record all the ticket sales and um, it'll re record the cash received and that sort of thing. So we've now created some order. Uh, at least we're starting the sorting process. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to uh, a, a, an accounting term here. The general term given to each one of these boxes in accounting is an account. Each one of those represents an account. That's what an account is. And within the account, we have a record of transactions. So account and uh, transactions. So before we start worrying about how to, how to organize the transactions, let's organize these boxes that are spread all over the kitchen table. And uh, basically, any account, every account, can be one of the following generic account classifications. Asset. It can be an asset. It can be a liability. Or it can be an equity. Okay. Now, in accounting, we impose the following equation so that as we are recording transactions, we're going to make sure that the following equation is always true. The total of all our asset accounts must equal the total of all our liability accounts plus the total of all our equity accounts. Okay, that is an imposed equation, and we have to keep, make sure that that equation is always true. So that's one of the, one of the uh, rules that we Im impose on our accounting system. All right, so let's talk about what is an asset. And that, because all accounting, all the, uh, the other two um, classifications, liability and equity, uh, derive their definition from uh, the definition of an asset. And the de definition of an asset uh, is, is uh, just basically follows our intuitive sense of what an asset is. And basically what an asset is in the, you know, on the street is a current or future benefit. So it's something we have or own that will give us a current benefit or a benefit into the future. Okay, uh, let's take the most obvious asset that people have, and that is cash. Remember what I told you, cash or money is a store of benefits. So if we have cash, uh, we can either convert that store into a current benefit, you know, we can go out and buy an iPod, or uh, we can just hang on to the cash and in three weeks go out and buy an iPod, future benefit. So cash gives us either a current or a future benefit. Now, in business, you have other kinds of assets, too. And uh, in your particular business, uh, suppose you throw a party, and part of your deal with the bar is that you're going to get a piece of the, uh, of the bar sales. Uh, 
So you've thrown your party and the bar, uh, the bar says, okay, well, uh, give us a week to do our inventory and figure out all our numbers and um, then we'll pay you. Uh, but we'll let you know tonight what, what we think that amount is. So um, he phones you that night and he says, uh, okay, your piece of the, the bar sales is uh, $200. Okay, so you can record that $200 right away as an asset. Why? Because you're going to get it. It's going to be a future benefit to you. Um, but how do you record it? Well, you can't record it as cash. So it's going to be uh, money that's owed to you. And we call that a receivable. And so we call that account an account receivable. So account receivables are not as good as cash, really, but they do represent a current or, or future benefit. So an account receivable is an asset. Well, let's say uh, you, uh, instead of making a deal with the bar where you get a piece of the action, you've actually gone and, and bought uh, the liquor yourself. So uh, at, the end of the, uh, at the end of the night, you find that uh, you've got $200 worth of liquor left over, and, uh, or say 300 just change the number, $300 worth of liquor left over. And that liquor you're going to just hang on to until the next party. And so it's going to be in inventory. It represents inventory that you have on hand. And that inventory represents a current or future benefit, because when you sell it, you, you're going you're to realize the benefit. So that inventory becomes is also an asset and we can we can think about other uh, other kinds of assets if you've got uh, some very generic hand bills that you uh, you keep on hand uh, for any party and you got you know, maybe a year's supply of them uh, the inventory of those uh, of those hand bills represent an asset because the benefit those handbills give you is that when you pass them out, people know about your party. So um, when you're when you're kind of sorting these accounts, uh, if you want to know whether it's an asset, just say, well, um, if, if if this account had uh, you know had some had some something in it, um, would that represent a benefit to me uh, either now or in the future? So the fundamental concept, again, we come back to is a concept of benefit. And in this case, in this situation, it's uh, with reference to, uh, it, it helps us define what an asset of a business is. Okay, so that's asset. So I'm just going to quickly do uh, liability and equity. Um, now liabilities then are basically debts. Liabilities are debts, which is how we think of them on the street. and. The liabilities in a business basically uh, show us where or how we paid for the, for the asset. So if we have a debt, if we uh, maybe bought uh, liquor from the liquor store, and uh, I know this is the realm of fantasy now, but say the liquor store said that we didn't have to pay them until after, uh, after the party, um, and that uh, even then we only had to pay them for the liquor we used, and we could wait until we sold the rest of it uh, to pay them the, the balance. Just... I know it's a fantasy. <laughs> um, then we would show that we owe the liquor store, say, uh, we, we, the liquor cost, a th so we got $1,000 worth of liquor from them. And uh, until we paid them, we'd have a debt of 1000 So uh, that would represent a liability. In other words, it was how, uh, and, we, and we would be able to show an asset of inventory of liquor over here of $1,000. So that's the liquor we'd have. So that would be an actual asset. But we'd have a debt over here, uh, and that's how we paid for it. And then after the first gig, uh, we, we pay them off, uh, you know, the 800 bucks that we sold. So now we owe them 200. And interestingly enough, we'd have $200 worth of liquor left over. So you can see that this liability over here uh, uh, is what's paid for this uh, liquor inventory over here. And, but if it turns out that if we total up all our assets, and say it come to all our assets total up to ten thousand dollars, and the debts that we have uh, total to only three thousand dollars, so the liabilities. Then the balance, the seven thousand, because we impose this equality, the seven thousand represents the equity that the owners have in the business. Okay, so what we're trying to do in a business is keep increasing. The owner equity because that represents the value of the owners in the uh, the business and so we want the assets to go up but at the same time we want the owner equity to go up um, so basically that's describes what an asset is what a liability is and then the residual uh, difference between the two is the equity 
So that'll be all for this one. And uh, our next lesson, we'll talk about how we manage the transactions now within the accounts.